us today, true freshman heavy day, is linebacker Jamal Anderson. If y'all can, please identify your name and affiliation prior to asking a question. Y'all fire away whenever you're ready. Hey, Jamal Trevor, go to CDTargets.com. What was it like growing up the son of an NFL star, and, and how much did he talk about the Dirty Bird growing up? <laughs> yeah, he definitely mentioned it to me a lot, especially just like the physicality he brought to the game. and then. Obviously, growing up, I played running back like my entire life up until about 10th grade year of high school, which when I switched to the opposite side of the ball, and I wasn't too happy about it. But he said, well, now you get to flip the script and hit some people. So I'm all for it. At what point did you fully embrace that being on the other side of the ball? Yeah, probably about halfway through my 10th grade season because I, uh, I played both sides of the ball, but I was more like a safety freshman in sophomore year. And then that's when my coach was finally like, you're going to do better in the box. And then I just trusted the process, and it paid out. Dave is over TigerNet.com. You're obviously taller than your dad. Mm-hmm. You know, running back probably wasn't going to work out. Are you happy at linebacker? Because you play physical. Mm-hmm. Looks like you love to hit people. Mm-hmm. Are you happy now? Yeah, I'm happy now for sure. I think it was a great decision. I always tell my high school coach that how thankful I am that he made that decision, and then my dad obviously supporting it. But for sure, yeah, I got a couple inches on him. I always say that to him. But um, yeah, I'm happy for sure. You feel like having that experience of running back gives you a little, a little like more of an insight than you know somebody who's played linebacker their yeah, whole life. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely just being able to see like the running back's first step and identifying plays faster, and then just being better with the ball in my hand, definitely. This year, obviously, you know Jeremiah and, and Bear got to stay on the field. Exactly. You know, but how much are you learning just kind of watching those guys and learning their practice? Yeah, for sure. Uh, not only on the field, but also off the field. They're both two great dudes that I can always spend some time around and just learn from. And then obviously Wood as as well, similar body type. Um, just definitely learning from those guys and just constantly listening to Coach West and hearing my coaches and just developing every day for sure. A little more, a little both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have a preference? I don't really have a preference. I trust Coach West wherever he wants to put me per game plan, depending on the team. I believe you had the, the tip ball in the spring game that, that led to the interception. Uh, how cool was it to, to make a big play in the spring game as a freshman? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was awesome. And then I turned around and saw RJ obviously caught the ball, and then we went off to the sidelines and celebrate. But I'm just grateful to make an impact in any way. Being in that environment, that atmosphere with all the fans, that uh, make things a little bit easier for you making your debut at, down at Duke, or, or did you still have some nerves? Yeah, I mean, obviously everyone's going to have a little bit of first game nerves, but for sure the spring game, we had a great crowd there, so definitely got a good environment going. And then Duke just running out there like first kickoff. I think it was like me and Barnes standing right next to each other, and we just like looked and like kind of gave each other a little smirk, but we were ready to play for sure. For sure. So just coming from Georgia and a lot of the competition I played are now in college football. Some of them even starting as like my teammate, Caleb Downs. He's doing great at Alabama. I'm proud of him. But then just constant competition every week, especially at like the quarterback position. And then I think it really helped me develop as like a young player just growing up in 7A where I've even played some of my teammates now at Clemson constantly in high school. So I think that helped a lot, and the state championship was just great for sure. Your dad went all the way out to Utah mm-hmm. to play to play football. So when it came to the recruiting process, mm-hmm. you know, what were your thoughts? Did you have a favorite team growing up in, in Georgia? You know, who did you pull for? So for me, growing up, I was always kind of just like a Clemson fan. That's what I told Coach Sweeney when I first started getting recruited. And then my dad was always obviously kind of tugging on the Utah string with that, but. When I definitely started to get recruited more, he came with me on a visit here, and he kind of fell in love with the environment as well, too. So recruitment-wise, he was kind of just supportive of whatever I decided, definitely. Did Utah and Coach Whittingham, did they get involved? Yeah, they were involved. I took an official visit there, so I did spend some time there. But at the end of the day, I chose Clemson. For this year, what are your goals, kind of, yeah. you know, 
knowing that you're going to play an even bigger role next year. Yeah. What's your goal for the rest of this year and then for getting better in the offseason? Yes, so just getting better, I just want to improve on things that my coaches see and the things I see in myself from like footwork to just learning more about the game and just constantly staying around these older guys, especially while they're here and just learning, but really just trusting the process, listening to my coaches and just continuing to develop every day, you know, 1% better. You mentioned Khalil a few minutes ago. Do you have a particularly good relationship with him and what's it been like watching yeah. him make such an impact? impact? Yeah, so I met him probably freshman year, 10th grade of high school because he, he didn't go to high school far away from me. And then I think we ran into each other one weekend like playing basketball. So we actually hung out a little bit in high school and then now we're roommates in college. So then me, Khalil, and Shelton live together and that's just been a great experience seeing him ball out. Thank you all for your time.